Good evening, and welcome to Old South United Methodist Church and this virtual service of evening prayer. I'm Rev. Jamie Michaels. Today is Wednesday, September 2nd, 2020. Thank you for giving yourself this time, this gift of quiet time of reflection this evening. This summer at Old South, we're studying creation care. We've been reading stories about the earth how it was created, what God hopes for it, and how we humans are called to interact with and care for all of creation. So still for these last two weeks of our series, I'll be coming to you from outdoors. Today it's raining, so I'm here underneath my front porch. This coming Sunday, we'll be blessed with a special service of music and prayer designed by our music director, Adriana Rollins. We'll also celebrate communion together as we enjoy beautiful music on this Labor Day weekend. I hope you can join us and feel free to share that invitation with your friends and family. Tonight's service, as always, uses the Holden Evening Prayer setting. If you haven't joined us before, it's mostly a sung form. It has a leader part and an all part, and you are invited to join along in the congregational responses and songs. A singer will lead your responses. This is a time of rest and reflection. So let's just take a moment before we begin to set an intention for this evening. We will be present in this half hour. We will bring our whole selves without judgment into God's presence. We will listen and allow ourselves to be seen by God. We will be gentle with ourselves and with those around us, remembering that God requires not perfection, but the honest effort of our hearts. Beloved, it is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is for stillness. Let us be still now in the presence of our God.
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense. And may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Tonight's psalm is number 38. This psalm is for the ones who are at their end of their rope. It's for the ones who have suffered pain after pain and struggle to find a glimmer of hope. It's for the ones who wonder, why has this happened to me? And then ones who feel distant from God. It is for the ones who feel alone and lonely. Take courage, friends. You are not alone. Countless others before you have walked the road of sorrow, and as the psalmist says, our longing, our sighing, is seen by God. You are not alone. Psalm 38. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath, for your arrows have sunk into me and your hand has come down on me. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no health in my bones because of my sin, for my iniquities have gone over my head. They weigh like a burden too heavy for me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. All day long I go around mourning for my loins are filled with burning and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am utterly spent and crushed. I groan because of the tumult of my heart. O oh Lord, all my longing is known to you. My sighing is not hidden from you. My heart throbs, my strength fails me. As for the light of my eyes, it also has gone from me. My friends and my companions stand aloof from my affliction and my neighbors stand far off. Those who seek my life lay their snares. Those who seek to hurt me speak of ruin and meditate treachery all day long. But I am like the deaf, I do not hear. Like the mute who cannot speak, truly I am like the one who does not hear and in whose mouth is no retort. But it is for you, O Lord, that I wait. It is for you, O Lord my God, who will answer. For I pray only do not let them rejoice over me, those who boast against me when my foot slips. For I am ready to fall and my pain is ever with me. I confess my iniquity. I am sorry for my sin. Those who are my foes without cause are mighty and many are those who hate me wrongfully. Those who render me evil for good are my adversaries because I follow after good. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O my God, do not be far from me, but make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. The scripture this evening comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 14, verses 22 through 31. This is the story of Jesus walking on the Sea of Galilee towards the disciples who have been caught in a storm all night. What strikes me today in reading this very familiar story is that Jesus comes to the disciples in a moment of trouble. He hasn't been with them for the beginning. He trusted them to go off on this journey on the sea alone. But when the seas got rough, he came to them as quickly as he could, not by taking the time to rig up another boat and sail to them, but simply by walking to them. The disciples might have felt relieved to see Jesus, but their first response is fear. Even when Jesus identifies himself, still Peter has trouble believing that Jesus is there to help them. What is it inside us that makes God's love for us so difficult to believe? What makes it so easy to doubt that God has the time and inclination to attend to our needs? In the end, Peter does walk out to Jesus. 
How is God inviting you to leave the boat today? Matthew 14, 22 through 31. Immediately he made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But by this time the boat, battered by the waves, was far from the land, for the wind was against them. And early in the morning he came walking towards them on the lake. But when the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified, saying, It's a ghost! And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, and as I, do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you out on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it.
great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray, saying, Our Father and Mother, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us again this evening. Please join us every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. You can find us right here on Facebook Live and YouTube, which is also where you can find us on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. You can always find information about our church and sign up for our weekly email at www.oldsouthumc.org. Be sure to join us this coming Sunday at 10 a.m. for our special mu service of music, prayer, and communion designed by our Director of Music, Adriana Rollins. And please mark your calendars for October 11th and 18th when we will celebrate this year's class of confirmands. Again, I'm Reverend Jamie Michaels. The peace of all peace be yours this night.